Hi, I'm Janine Fenton from the American Society of Civil Engineers, and today we're going to build a better bubble blower. You can find this activity on our website at asce.org slash pre-college outreach. Look for everyday engineering and the activity build a better bubble blower. Now, if you're going to build a better bubble blower, you have to decide what makes it better. Is it because it can blow a really big bubble or would you want to be able to blow a lot of bubbles all at one time? Well, you get to decide and you can engineer it in any way that you want to do it. You can look for things around your house that already have a lot of holes in them. Or you can build some things. One of my favorite things is to use a couple straws and some string to make a bubble blower. You can make things out of wire. You can also look for netting or holes in boxes that you might have around the house. Well, in addition to engineering your bubble blower, you can also work on the liquid that you're using. I used a quarter of a cup of just plain old dish soap with three quarters of a cup of water, but then I added a special ingredient. I actually added two teaspoons of table sugar Sugar adds a little bit of strength to the bubble. Now I've usually used glycerin, which I can get at the pharmacy, but I didn't have any around the house today. So I use a table sugar. And would table sugar be better than glycerin? Or I might even want to try it with something like maple syrup. As always, you can send us your pictures, comments, and questions to outreach at asce.org and keep on engineering.